If you get a flat and a tire, you're going to couple different ways to attack. First of all, we'd identify what type of tire it is. This is a tube tire. This is not sealed to the rim. Okay. So that tells me there's a tube on the inside. So you've got an inner tube on yep. the inside that holds the air. That's right. And when this gets a hold, simply just scratch it up, put some glue on, and a patch. Just like your bike kit you did years ago, and then get it back inside, blow it up, you're good to go. I remember it well. What are you going to show us? Well, here we have a tubeless tire, okay? And you can tell because the air valve is fixed tight to, mm -hmm. the, to the rim. So instead of an inner tube, the, the actual tire, tire to is sealed in air. air. That's right. All right. Now, this is a flat tire. Sure is. In order to find the hole, the first thing we're going to do is fill it with air. If you give me the air supply. Here's a compressor. Fill that up. So by filling it, we should be able to hear the air coming out of this tire and Either then find hear that it hole. Or feel it. One or the other. Oh, I can hear it already, yeah. There you go. Yep, there right it there. is. Okay. All right, so now that we've got the hole, how do we uh, fix it? Well, we're going to use a plug repair kit and it helps having the tire inflated. That's the only way you can do this. So the first part of the kit is a reamer. You can see it has a real rough edge on it. Yeah. We're going to take that and put it down into the hole and rough up the edges. So okay, that actually now. cleans it up a little bit. Right. You just hold that with me. I want to make sure that all the air, leave it in. I want all the air in the tire because that's going to help me with the rest of the repair. Here's the second part. This is the applicator has a little eye in the center and actually has an opening with a couple of cutting edges on it. Actually okay. looks like the eye of a needle. Right. We're going to take and put this plug in there. You feel that? It's all sticky and rubber. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's going to slide right into the hole. So you've literally got to thread the needle here. That's right. Once you get it started, you can usually grab it with the pliers and it'll come through pretty easy for you. There you go. Yeah. What I want to do is get it about halfway through. Okay. Okay. Now, for added adhesion, I'm going to coat it with rubber cement. We don't take any chances. So this okay. is our plug. That's right. Now, what's going to happen is when I tell you, you're going to pull that out. I'm going to take this, not yet. I'm going to slide it down in and pull it out. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. All right. So this goes in about two-thirds of the way down in, and then we just pull out. Oh. Okay. Now, with the plug in place, we're just going to take a pair of side cutters and cut it off. <laughs> no more hole, no more flat. Nice fix. Ready to go back to work. Let me show you another type of tire. This is a flat free tire. And what I want you to do is drop that on the floor. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's not much of a bounce. That makes for a hard ride. Right, that's because it's solid rubber. Okay, now try this one. All right, we're going to have another dead bounce here. Oh, not at all. Nice bounce. Almost like a regular tire. Yeah, how'd they pull that off? They built it instead of rubber. They've used closed cell polyurethane. Now, in here are millions of cells. Each one of them's filled with a little bit of air. That gives you the bounce. Nice smooth ride, too. Yep. Hey, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm.